Be sure to catch the next episode of Just Talking It Up on iTunes, Stitcher, your favorite podcast app, or on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com. Hey, you forgot our names. No. You did? You forgot our names. Don't be silly. I'm Janet. You're a crash. See? (laughs) She's just like a goose. She wakes up in a new world every day. This is the Weather Extreme video. This is for a Thursday evening, 31st of January, wrapping up the first month of this year. And I got to turn colder. Got an Alberta clipper coming down the pike. And uh, somebody around North Alabama might see a snowflake or two uh, late tonight with that feature. Let's take a look at some uh, sky cam shots this afternoon. Nice to see Alabama bathed in sunshine today. That's the trustful sky cam. Temperatures are much lower than they were a couple of days ago. Readings around the upper 40s and low 50s in most spots. There's the Demopolis Sky Cam, the Tom Bigby River, and that water flowing down here to the Alabama Gulf Coast where they are in sunny weather as well. Big old trough over the uh, east, and note that little kink in the uh, backside of the trough over Minnesota and Iowa and South Dakota, Nebraska. That's the clipper that's coming in our direction. Temperatures this afternoon, uh, 40s to the north. Uh, the warm spot in Montgomery, they've got 56, Birmingham at 50, right about where they should be. Ooh, man, it's cold. That, uh, that's some nasty-looking cold air coming down into parts of the high plains, and we'll feel a chunk of that tomorrow. We've got wind chill warnings and advisories up there. They might see some wind chill indices at 50 below tonight and tomorrow morning. That's a big ouch. Um, some winter weather advisories over Kentucky and some of the mountains of North Carolina and Virginia. The rain for the next five days, not very much. This is valid through Tuesday evening of next week, uh, suggesting maybe, uh, oh, a tenth of an inch or less here. And that primarily will be Saturday afternoon and Saturday evening. All right, let's take a look at the RPM. This is tonight. Uh, this is valid at uh, after midnight at 2 a.m. Hey, look at all the potential for snow showers up in north and northeast Alabama. You know, usually with this with these clippers, there's not a lot of moisture, but, boy, they can really create some dynamic lift, and they can surprise you. So, you know, somebody up on Lookout Mountain around uh, Mentone might see a dusting of snow with this and maybe a few snow showers as far south as uh, uh, Gadsden, maybe a little farther to the south. In fact, look at this. This is 6 o'clock tomorrow morning, and the RPM is suggesting snow showers almost down to Tuscaloosa, if this is right. Uh, and Again, I wouldn't be shocked if we saw this on radar. So we're going to mention the chance of snow showers, the better chance over northeast Alabama uh, late tonight and uh, early tomorrow morning. But it, it won't amount to much. No really uh, big deal. Then tomorrow, the uh, clipper moves on by, and we'll have a, a sunny but a cold day tomorrow. Uh, you know, today we had highs around 50, highs tomorrow closer to 40. Uh, the GFS and the NAM are both in the low 40s, a chilly north wind. And it's going to be cold Saturday morning. There's a look at Saturday. We'll be down in the low and mid-20s probably. Um, a pretty good freeze coming up. And then Saturday afternoon, we should warm into the low 50s and a cold front coming in, and that might squeeze out a little bit of light rain. This is the RPM, valid Saturday evening at 7 o'clock, and you can see a little band of light rain. And, ooh, look at that little snow pocket over northeast Alabama. Uh, you know, the, we've seen hints of this for several days, and I think you have to start looking at mentioning that, especially over Jackson and DeKalb counties, uh, Scottsboro and Fort Payne and Mentone and places like that. So for most places, just the chance of a little light rain late Saturday or Saturday evening, maybe some light snow up in the northeastern corner of the state. And then Sunday, a reinforcing surge of uh, uh, cool, dry air drops in here. Uh, high Sunday, low to mid-50s. Sunday morning, probably around freezing, not nothing excessively cold. Note that little uh, surface low that's just off of uh, the Long Island coast. That might be a close call for some snow there for our friends up in the northeast. All right, let's kind of go through next week. Pretty, pretty quiet weather next week. This is Monday, uh, seasonal. Uh, probably start the day in the 20s. The high should be in the upper 50s. Tuesday, a chance we'll see low 60s. Now, with warm air advection, some evidence that uh, maybe some clouds and A sprinkle or two, but with little forcing, we're not going to mention that. Uh, Wednesday, uh, again, low 60s are possible. Uh, The sky partly sunny, uh, no real significant chance of rain. And a week from today, kind of a week uh, west to northwest flow aloft, and uh, down below that, the better chance of rain stays to the west. And again, low 60s would seem likely. So a pretty quiet week shaping up next week. Uh, This is the ninth uh, Saturday, that following weekend. 
Uh, evidence of a warm front lifting north and a chance of showers. And then on Sunday the 10th, that warm front is north of here with some heavy rain possible. And uh, if this is right, it would be very mild for us. The cold air is going to be north of that the boundary where the heavy rain is located. And then on the 11th, a surface cold front comes in. And following that, it should turn colder. And on the 16th, the end of the forecast out there at mid-month, a big trough moving off the coast that looks kind of cold with the 540 line down to a Mobile. That's it for the Weather Extreme video this afternoon. Notes in the blog next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. And don't forget to watch us on TV this evening, ABC 3340 News at 4, 5, 6, and 10 on the live stream of the television side. Thanks for watching. Have a great evening, and God bless. Hi, I'm Steve Sample with Bama Talk. Don't miss a single episode of Bama Talk Show available now on iTunes, Stitcher, or your favorite podcast app and on the web at bigbrainsmedia.com.